I feel like we often get trapped into thinking that it takes quite a lot of thought and quite a lot of effort to make a real difference around the home, especially where clutter-free living is concerned. But if you can just pull one minute here, one minute there, you can actually get quite a lot done. For example, did you know that loading the dishwasher or unloading the dishwasher only takes about one minute? I know it doesn't feel like it, but if you time yourself, the next time you do the dishes, I think you'll be really, really amazed, especially when you're focused, you're not allowing yourself to be distracted by anything. Let's talk about some other things that you can do in just one minute. I would also like to thank Lean for kindly sponsoring a portion of today's video. The goal is not to be in constant motion, never having a moment's downtime. I think really when you can attach one minute tasks, to something you're already about to do. You're already going to be in motion making lunch. You're already about to leave for preschool drop off. You're already getting up to switch the laundry. When you're already in motion, these are the times that I feel like are the most effective to try and do an extra one minute task. So clearing off a counter should only take about one minute. Now, if it takes a little bit longer than a minute, that's fine. That can be your task of the day and you can focus focus all day, every time you've got a minute before you're about to do something else or when you've just finished another task, focus that minute on the countertop. You're gonna keep going back to it. And if it's not super cluttered, hey, maybe you can get the entire thing done in just one minute. All right, let's be realistic. <laughs> this little corner of the kitchen is never completely cleared off. I do keep my fruit bowl here and it is a little hidden clutter area where my family likes to stuff things. So don't think that my counters are always 100% clean. I have really liked getting into the habit recently of every time I load something into the dishwasher, I go ahead and check the counters. And maybe I won't even wipe the entire counter space. Maybe there's just like a little spot that I notice that isn't looking good. There are some crumbs, but this takes less than a minute. This is like 10 seconds, but I love batching it with uh, the dishes. It just seems to make sense, but you could also do the kitchen table, the dining room table, or any other surface in your kitchen. Do a quick drawer check this morning when I was getting into my daughter's little hair accessory drawer. I noticed that we have this boar bristle brush, boar bristle brush, <laughs> that is a tongue twister, that I have not really had good luck with. And I just kept hanging on to it thinking, I just don't use it right. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a way to make this work on her hair. And I just, every time I get it out, I get frustrated and I switch over to her regular hairbrush. So it doesn't make sense for me to keep this at this point, cause I know, right? By now I know, it doesn't make sense for me to keep this anymore. So when you open a drawer, maybe use this as an opportunity, take a minute, to just kind of rummage around <laughs> and see if there's anything like this that you've kind of become clutter blind to because maybe it's been there for so long or you just haven't wanted to give up hope on it yet, but it's time to not give up, but just be realistic and say, you know, it didn't work. I have something else that works better. So it's not like her hair's never gonna get brushed. So take a minute and go through a drawer. <laughs> what is this? It takes about a minute to go through and declutter all the selfies that your kids have taken in the last week on your phone. My kids love to do this. Do not need all this storage being taken up on my phone. I have been so excited to share this product by Lean with you. It is a little four by six photo printer. It comes with 20 sheets, but the thing that amazes me the most is how small it is and what incredible quality you get from this printer. It is compatible with iPhone, Android, laptop, PC, and the printer itself has a built-in hotspot, so it's really easy. You download the app, you select the picture that you want, and then you just watch this thing print out. It comes out in multiple layers of color, and then the last layer is a laminate layer which protects it from water scratching and fading. Look at the quality of this photo. The little perforated edge is where I recommend, there's one on the bottom and the top, where I recommend holding the photo because I did notice that if you put your fingerprints on there, 
then it will definitely um, not print out as well. If you hold on to those little edges at the top and bottom, you should be fine. Look at these beautiful photos that I was able to print from this little printer. I've looked into other popular photo printing services before, but the thing that I have never liked about them is that you can't actually remove each individual photo to frame it or take to school. So that is what really appealed to me about this printer, but I wanted to put it to the test and see if it could print out the colors, the vibrant colors of that Rubik's Cube cake. It absolutely killed it. it. The colors on there were so incredibly vibrant. Why have I been procrastinating this for so long? I have been terrible about getting my photos printed and put into an album. I just have my phone completely cluttered up with either photos that we don't like or the cutest photos in the world. And I am just super excited now that I can stop procrastinating, print one photo at a time. And it only takes about a minute to print a photo photo extremely quick and then I can just kind of print as we go as we take little photos that we love I can pop them into an album I don't have to worry about putting in a big fat order somewhere taking a whole bunch of time I love this product I think you guys will too I will have all the links for it in the description please tell me I'm not alone my family leaves their socks all over the place and I, I've kind of just resigned myself to it at this point. Like they just won't stop. I don't know how, how to fix this problem. If you figured this out, please let us know in the comments. I'm really hoping I'm not alone, but I find that if I just take about one minute to either designate somebody to clean up the socks, but my kids aren't always around, they're at school, so sometimes I'm just tired of looking at them and I'll do it, but it only takes about a minute to gather up all the dirty socks. And you know, maybe what I need to do is just work with the problem, not against it, and put a little <laughs> dirty sock caddy downstairs. It would be something maybe to test out. Let me know if you found a solution, what you do, because I'm, I'm tired of it. It also only takes about a minute, give or take, to switch laundry, fold a load of laundry, or put away a load of laundry. So I actually got behind on my laundry, which I try really hard not to do, but one minute is usually all you need for one of these tasks, or spend a minute gathering up all the laundry, gathering up all the towels, gathering up all the darks, gathering up all the lights. You really can, again, if you're really specific in the way you think about it, you can focus and get an amazing amount of work done in just one minute, but focus on the laundry for one minute and then the socks, the socks are a whole nother story. In about a minute, you can hang up several articles of clothing. So if you kind of let some things slip to the floor and haven't been as mindful, just spend a minute doing some hanging up. So about once a month when I'm getting ready in the morning, I will just say, I'm gonna look for anything in my makeup bag that hasn't been working out. I don't love this mascara as much as another one. So just like that brush, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I know I like this L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly one way better, so why keep two? It should only take about a minute to clear off the back of the couch. This feels like a really convenient place to put things like jackets and blankets, clothes, socks, whatever it is, but take a minute to just clear off any, like maybe chairs that have accumulated some clutter, little jackets, who knows what, and the backs of couches. So anything that's like sofa related that you can clean off, in addition to that, maybe straighten some throw pillows. I know this makes a really big difference for me in just visual clutter when the throw pillows are straightened. Do you guys think it is crazy to have throw pillows and consider yourself a minimalist? I think this is a controversial topic and I really wanna know what you think because I think they add so much value to my life <laughs> that I'm just gonna keep them even if it's not technically a minimalist rule to have something this kind of frivolous. I love throw pillows. I think they're comfortable, I think they're cute, I think they're worth it. But let me know what you think in the comments. Da -da do a shoe hunt, just like a sock hunt. You're gonna do a shoe hunt. It only takes about a minute to go around your house and find all the shoes. 
that are out of place and take care of them. It took me longer than it should have to realize that I needed to wash my throw blankets. If you get up close to one of these, they kind of stink if you haven't washed them. So in a minute, go ahead and grab all your little throw blankets or maybe even take the cushions like the couch cushions take the covers off of them and throw them in on a delicate cycle with your blankets. No, 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 not your couch cushion covers, your throw pillow covers. I think you can take out every single trash in your house in about a minute, especially if you run through your house. I love to time myself and do tasks that I normally kind of muddle through. Again, this is a great one for kids, but if they're not home and it's up to you, batch it with something else. Don't get up off the couch from watching Virgin River just to take the trashes out. When you're leaving anyway, you're gonna be going through the garage, passing right by that big garbage bin, this is the perfect time. In one minute, plan out a few days of meals, of dinners. Sometimes planning out an entire week's worth of groceries can feel kind of overwhelming, but if you do this twice a week, starting with the stuff that you already have, it can feel a lot less overwhelming and definitely is more manageable. Every single day, take about a minute and get rid of your old stinky dish rag and your stinky hand towel from yesterday and run these upstairs. Put them in the washing machine and just grab a new set for the day. This is a nice thing to do first thing in the morning. It just kind of gets your kitchen off to a fresh start, but it's something that if you forget to do it, you really do end up regretting it later. If your family is anything like mine, they will put absolutely all gone boxes back in the pantry. Just do a quick, I call this a box check. Do a quick box check. It takes a minute, see what they've put back. <laughs> That's a completely empty thing. There might even be a bag or a little tiny heel of bread left that they just shoved back in there. Any trash that you can pull out of your pantry really quickly, please don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I will catch you soon. Bye.